going in with the Miracle Volume Shampoo from Aussie. The three minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner Sprunch Mousse and Leave-In Conditioner. Freshly washed and styled. I think you're on the same page with me. You can see where this is going. They told me on the bottle, like I should have just been expecting it, but this product is incredibly light hold. Super, super, super light hold. My hair feels silicone-y. <laughs> That's the only way I know to describe it. I can feel something on my hair. My hair feels a bit plasticky, but it also feels insanely lightweight and really good. I have some thoughts. This is not a wash day routine that I want to incorporate often. Nothing against the products, but I can feel that for my hair personally, it feels kind of dried out just a little bit and a little bit hollow feeling like the moisture didn't really get into my hair. There's not a whole lot of penetrating moisturizing ingredients in these products that I use today. I can feel that. My hair does feel super lightweight and good, but it's also quite slick and slickery. And that is those silicones in these products. Like I'm feeling these silicones. So those are my thoughts at the end of the day. I will be back in the morning to show you how it held up overnight. Oh my goodness. Okay, this might be the soft, touchable waves of my dreams. I think I might be playing around with this product some more. Simply because it's like this super easy, effortless look. I love this. This is good. This is really good. What is happening? My preferences might be changing. And here is the volumizing shampoo. Next up, the deep conditioner. We're going in with the gel. Are y'all seeing this? My hair was this long when we started. That is some shrinkage. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this cast? I, I don't get a cast in my hair usually. These are the scrunched out results. I feel so cute. All right, I will be back later to show you how it's holding up. Look at this. I still have really beautiful definition, pretty minimal root frizz going on. I'm really happy with this. I'll be back in the morning to show you how it held up overnight. I can't get over how good this looks. <laughs> Let me show you. I am insanely impressed with the Briogeo gel. This feels so different than it did when I tried it years ago. The Jessie Curl Gentle Lather Shampoo. Now I'm going in with the Jessie Curl Deep Conditioning Treatment, the Jessie Curl Spiralicious Styling Gel. My hair feels really good. It's super slippery. Let's see the grit factor, almost zero. It loosened up quite a bit, but there's still some really pretty waves happening. This is really good. In fact, it almost looks better to me than it did yesterday. I'm not sure how that's possible. We're breaking the rules. I'm going to refresh this hair just a little bit so that we can see 
how these products refresh and yes, Jesse Curl has their own version of a refreshing spray. It's the Awe Inspiring Spray. Sulfate free shampoo. Step one from Love Your Curls Plus line. Love Your Curls Deep Condition and Repair Mask. Love Your Curls Irish Sea Moss Gel. Look at this. There is a little bit of frizz happening that looks a little off. I don't normally have frizz like that, but my hair looks really pretty, kind of from afar. Like I've got good clumpage, good volume. Houston, we have a problem. My hair is so soft and so silky. It is taking everything in me not to just like run my fingers through my hair because it feels so good. I love the feeling of my hair. And I have some like really pretty curls ringlets things in my hair, but the frizz. I mentioned it earlier, it hasn't gotten any better. It looks really pretty. It's very loose, it feels really, really good. I can't tell you the number of people with wavy hair that have asked me about brushing their hair out on day two. Like, can they? Of course you can. And this is what it looks like when you do. There's definitely added volume in my hair. There is less definition. There's also, currently at the moment, less frizz. Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo. Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Conditioner. Redken Max Sculpting Gel. But I, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be crying today as I'm scrunching this out. This is, this is looking cute. It's so pretty. The part that I can see, cause I haven't checked the back. It appears to be coming apart at the seams. It's kind of floofy and frizzy and undefined. Let's take a look at the back. It could be worse. It's not as cute as it was when I scrunched out the crunch. That is the frizz situation. It's not bad bad, but it's a little frizzy, it's a little frizzy. I do still have really pretty definition in some places. The front did stretch out. Let's take a look at the back, shall we? For You Clarifying Shampoo. For You Moisturizing Conditioner. For You Curl Defining Gel. Ooh, this gel feels like an aloe flaxseed type of gel that really locks down definition, but leaves your hair feeling super soft. All right, this is what the hair is looking like right after I scrunch out the crunch. My hair looks super shiny. It is very frizz free, but this has like resettled down into very pretty waves, wavelets, ringlets, curls. There's a couple of ringlets in here, sort of, sort of a ringlet. It's trying. <laughs> Let's take a look at the back, shall we? I feel like this wash day gave me a super true representation of my natural curl pattern. We're a little more stretched out than we were yesterday. Overall, I'm incredibly impressed with 
this wash day for you makes a curl refresher mist. Clean, rinse, and moisturizing and clarifying shampoo from Camilla Rose. Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with Cacao and Mango Butter. Camilla Rose Curl Maker. This is a really soft and defined look. Like, I love that. Oh, oh, the pieces are so cute. I'm seeing cute pieces in the back. Let's take a look at the back together, shall we? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty. Okay. That piece got stretched out, but everything else is really cute. I'm sorry to say I have quite used and abused this hair. It got thrown back in an invisible while I went to the gym. I will say my hair feels really, really nice, like kind of slippery and silky and tangle free. So that's fantastic. You know what? That's not bad. That is some pretty good definition, if I do say so myself. This held up pretty well for how light hold I suspected the curl maker styler to be. I'm impressed. I expected less hold than this product gave me. Mop Top Gentle Shampoo. Mop Top Daily Conditioner. Mop Top Curl Enhancer Gel. Look at that. Look, look, look. This is so cute. It's one of those Helix curls. So cute. All right, this is what the hair is looking like after I have scrunched it and fluffed it. It's shiny, it's soft, it smells good. I have good definition. This, look at this. I have so many chunked together, sweet looking ringlets. I'm very, very pleased with. I don't know what happened on this side. <laughs> yeah, that looks really, really cute. I like the back. It is just this section did not get the memo. So this is 100% unrefreshed hair. Let me turn around and show you the back. Let's see, yep, you can see it. It's pretty frizzy. So I think that I used enough of that gel yesterday that I can reactivate it with just some water in a Flarisol bottle. I did it, I win. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so pretty. My curl clumps are kind of smaller than they are on a wash day, but I feel like that's giving me even more curl enhancement. Let's take a quick look at the final refresh results. Clean shampoo in the sweet orange fragrance. Clean conditioner, again, in the sweet orange scent. Flaxseed hair gel, again, in the sweet orange fragrance. Here are the results when it's 100% fluffed and scrunched. I love how my hair feels. It feels so darn good. It looks good. There is a little bit of frizz. I am stunned and floored and so excited. I've still got ringlets, chunked together definition. There are some kind of stretched out pieces hiding underneath some of these. I have this section here that's like trying to super chunk together. I'm gonna separate it out just a little bit. 
I love when my hair does that. It tells me that the products are super nourishing and moisturizing, that my hair likes the products because it's trying to chunk together. Overall, this product line is absolutely amazing. Gentle Clarifying Shampoo from Bounce Curl. Super smooth cream conditioner. Light hold cream gel. Oh, this is cute. I like this one. <laughs> I think I like them all. I think I say that every time, but this time I mean it? I don't know. I really like this wash day. Okay, here are the results once it is scrunched out and fluffed. This is what the curls are looking like, 100% unrefreshed. Refreshing my hair with the Bounce Curl hairspray. Did that make a big difference? It made some difference. It definitely knocked down the frizz on this side. It did not add any curl enhancement to this area. This is the kind of hairspray though that you like cannot run your fingers through your hair. This stuff is strong and very intense. Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Defrizz Curl Shampoo. Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Defrizz Curl Conditioner. Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Defrizz Light Hold Jelly. I like how my hair is feeling right now. It's really lightweight, like really lightweight. That feels really good. I can still kind of feel this weird silicone-y feeling on my hair, and I'm pretty sure that's from the conditioner. There's no refresh in my hair. Let me turn around and show you how it's holding up. some thoughts. My hair still feels very lightweight, but this is one of those instances where my hair feels significantly drier on day two than it did on wash day, and I have a feeling it's going to get progressively more and more dry feeling as the wash day progresses. Insta Volume Cleansing Treatment Volumizing Elixir Dream Gel, which is the Stronghold Styler from Evolve. Ooh! Ooh, that is some big volume, my friends. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of pretty. I like this. <laughs> this is some really pretty definition. It's kind of cute. Very nice. Wow, it has held the volume better than any other product I have tried thus far. I think you can see the frizz. Yeah, it's kind of frizzy. It's a little bit frizzier than normal. We still have this super cute chunked up curl over here that we had yesterday. Let me turn around and show you the back. This is good. This is really good. I think I definitely got some product really close to my roots and that is what's giving all of that, that volume. Ooh, that's cute. Root 66, max volume shampoo for limp and lifeless hair. Smooth as silk, deeper moisture conditioner. LA Hold Styling Gel. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is cute. This makes me happy. I like this hair. I like this hair a lot. It is 
insanely lightweight. I'm a little fluffy, maybe a touch frizzier than some of these other one brand wash days. And when I'm feeling of my hair, it's got that kind of crispy, hollow feeling like it's a little under moisturized. It needs a little bit more something, something. A Nasi Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo. Soothing Mint Moisturizing Conditioner. A Nasi Pamper My Curls Sculpting Glaze. I am loving the definition that I have right now. The shape is really cute. Mm. It's pretty frizzy. It, it dropped real fast. It's not particularly hot outside. The weather's not particularly bad. I really like this. This is super loose and stretched out, but my hair feels really good, very lightweight. Let's take a look at the back. I know, I'm not loving like this section right here, but honestly, all I did was take it out of the overnight pineapple. Innersense Pure Harmony Hair Bath. Innersense Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. Innersense I Create Hold Gel. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I love when this guy shows up to the party. You know it's gonna be a good day when he's around. This hair has seen some things. It's, it, yeah, yeah, why? Why is it so frizzy right there? I don't understand. This side is behaving. The frizz is not there. I feel like it held up really well overnight. Let me turn around and show you the back. Everything is pretty stretched out right here, but there's still some super cute definition in the back. And something really impressive is that all this frizz that I had yesterday has completely calmed down. These Innersense products made my frizz close to zero, which I'm really happy about. My hair feels very soft and hydrated. Mark Anthony Strictly Curls three times the moisture triple blend shampoo. Strictly Curls three times the moisture triple blend conditioner. Strictly Curls Curl Enhancing Styling Foam. Really? I'm a little bit surprised. I was not expecting my hair to look this cute. It honestly feels really good. Perhaps if I'm being real picky, like right now, it's feeling a tad heavy. I could alleviate some of that heaviness by using slightly less mousse, but I have really good definition. There is no grit or weird producty feeling on my fingers. This wash day was so promising. So I had really high hopes for this wash day, but it is quite literally falling flat. It's still kind of heavy feeling, not terribly heavy. I would say we're a medium weight with this. I am amazed at how my hair feels. Like I feel like I could finger detangle my hair really easily right now, even though it's dry and not do very much damage to my hair because it has so much slip. I'm a little bummed. It is completely 100% stretched out basically all the way. Next of Us No Strip Sulfate Free Shampoo with Avocado Oil. Nourishing Moisture Conditioner with Coconut Oil. Styling Gel with Avocado Oil. That is pretty, if I do say so myself. 
I really think they did it. My low porosity roots are not build up y, they look fine. My high porosity mid links to ends are so shiny. My hair feels super lightweight and hydrated, and the definition is really good. It held up really well, my hair still feels really good, my roots feel so good and light and clean, the lengths of my hair feel lightweight. It's a little bit frizzy. Overall, this wash day really surprised me. It is very minimally frizzy. It is still quite shiny, but there's just a little bit of grit on the ends. My hair feels really good. Wash and Scrub Detox Shampoo Multitasking Conditioner. Effortless Waves Styler. It feels really slippery and like hydrated and tangle free while also being insanely lightweight and fluffy and shiny. Like the shine is so good. Let me show you what my hair is looking like now that it's been fluffed and scrunched. It actually held up beautifully. This curl from this morning is still here, hanging in there. This section always stretches out on me. I don't know why my curl pattern is so loose here, but other than that, the hair held up really good. Let me turn around and show you the back. It's really pretty. This is a good day too for me. I don't get it. I don't understand how it's still this pretty without me doing anything to it. My hair still feels really, really soft and like pretty tangle free. And for me to like just take it down and not have to do anything to it and it still be this shiny and feel this good is a major win. Embody Daily Volumizing Shampoo. Embody Daily Volumizing Conditioner. The complete air dry cream. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. This is pretty. It's very airy and like undone, but yet still done and like polished feeling. This hair has been so pretty all day long. It has stretched out quite a bit and loosened and elongated, but my hair feels so good. It is super touchable, super soft. Let's take a look at the back. Well, my friends, here we are on the morning of day two, and here is an example of failed overnight hair protection. <laughs> Last night, I tried something that's kind of like a mix between a bonnet and like a tube of fabric. It's in between one of those. I tried that. It fell off in the middle of the night, and my hair did not hold up well. This is what it's looking like on day two. Miss Jessie's Harm Me Not Gentle Sulfate Free Shampoo. Soften Me Up Triple Soft Moisturizing Conditioner. Pillow Soft Curls. Woo! That's pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, I like this. Let's take a look at the back. So my ultra greasy roots are better 
And I have really decent volume. My hair doesn't feel weighed down like it did before. My scalp feels clean, but it's definitely not the most squeaky clean looking it's ever looked. Okay, to be fair, I am highly allergic to like laundry detergent fragrance. And I'm pretty sure that's what's in here. I don't think it's the exact one, but that's what it smells like. My scalp is on fire, my throat is itching, my nose is itching, my chin is itching. I'm gonna have to wash my hair. And I am so bummed. One, I just washed it today and styled it. And two, I really like this styler. I am really disappointed. I love how my hair looks today. It looks so darn cute. For a light hold product, I expected this to be very light hold. It held up super well throughout the day. My hair is very hydrated, very soft, very touchable. Overall, I'm absolutely thrilled with how these products performed. It's just unfortunate that I'm so allergic to the fragrance, I cannot sleep with this stuff in my hair. I'm gonna have to wash it and call it. We're ending this one brand wash day early, which is sad. Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Shampoo, Curl Defining Conditioner, Pacifica Big Waves Soft Hold and Volume Hairspray. Oh, that's pretty cute. My hair is looking so cute. It is looking so pretty. The volume is insane. My hair feels very lightweight. This volume and zhuzh that's happening, but my hair still feels really soft and touchable. I can kind of feel that sea salt spray a little bit on my fingers, but it's very minimal. Definition is really good. Oh yeah, that held up good. Honestly, my mind's a little bit blown right now. I was really not expecting much out of this product and this product is reminding me of like the Briogeo product. Like I was shocked by the Briogeo gel and how well it worked in my hair. I'm feeling the same levels of astonishment here because I really wasn't expecting much. It is just the t 9 is a bit frizzy. It's kind of looking pretty good. Hydrating shampoo. The Resource Curls Deep Conditioner. Light Hold Gel. Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> this is what it's looking like right after I have fluffed it and scrunched it. I'm seeing some really pretty curl definition over here, but there is a really weird feeling on my fingers right now. As I scrunched out the crunch, it feels slightly oily and salty, like a sea salt spray. I feel like I failed these Rizos Curls products. I'm kicking myself. I should have gone with their cult classic curl defining cream. This light hold gel seems like a really nice product, but I can very clearly tell that this thing that they created was designed to go on top of a cream. My hair is feeling kind of dry. There's more frizz than normal. There's this weird texture on my hair. I still have decent curl retention and really, really nice definition still. This is impressive. I have lots of volume. My roots are nice and clean, but I really still feel like I did quite the disservice to Resos Curls by not following their instructions. There's really, really good hold for a product that's labeled light hold. My hair does feel really, really lightweight and super bouncy. I still have decent curl clumps like the hold is really, really quite good. 
on this light hold product, but my hair feels so dry. It's not very shiny. The Suave Up The Volume Shampoo Luscious Curls Conditioner with Amino Acid Complex. The Suave Essentials 8 Max Hold Styling Gel 8 for long lasting hold. This is what the hair is looking like after a good fluff and scrunch. You can see that everything is way softer, less crispy looking, more flowy, more bouncy. Let me turn around and show you the back. Oh my, <laughs> this hair. Um, guys, I didn't go anywhere or do anything today. My hair still feels really, really good and soft and touchable, but what happened? What happened? It's so frizzy. Wow. I think some magic actually may have happened overnight. My hair is less frizzy looking. Now, I will say the instant I took my hair down, hairs just started tickling my face. I really think that this gel is one that you need to put a leave-in conditioner or a curl cream underneath to stop that from happening. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. My nose is itching so bad. Shea Moisture Apple Cider Vinegar Anti-Dandruff Shampoo with Salicylic Acid. 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Conditioner. Papaya and Neroli with Elderflower All Day Frizz Control Milk Gel. My hair is so chunked together and clumpy and pretty and defined. What is going on here? <laughs> For a product that does contain quite a bit of glycerin, I have very minimal frizz. My hair did not wilt and fall out completely. I am in love with this wash day lineup. My roots feel super like lightweight and silky and good. My scalp feels amazing. My hair feels really, really hydrated. It still smells good, but the fragrance isn't overpowering. I'm 10 out of 10 impressed at the moment. What is happening? <laughs> Do you see this? There is almost zero frizz in my hair and somehow overnight there's this big barrel curl that has like just chunked together it looks like it was curled with a curling iron i promise it wasn't but it just like formed in in the overnight pineapple i don't know how that happened all i did was take my hair down out of the overnight pineapple and let it settle while i was getting ready this is zero refreshed hair Tray Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. Soothe and Restore Ultra Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. High Definition Fragrance Free Curl Enhancing Styling Gel. I'm so confident I'm not even grabbing my mirror and taking a look. I can just tell that this is glorious. It gives a ton of definition and shine but perhaps my hair is slightly less voluminous than past wash days. This hair is a little wilty, a little droopy. It has been put through the absolute ringer today. Yes, it's very stretched out and elongated and didn't hold like it normally does. Usually Trey Lux holds really, really well in my hair, but this is not performing or behaving like it usually does. This is quite stretched out in comparison to normal. Let me turn around and show you the back.
It's very moisturizing while having a lot of hold. So overall, I love Trilux and I have loved them for a very, very, very long time. I think I messed up this wash day and that's why it's kind of elongated by my classic error, using too much gel. It feels really, really nice. It feels super hydrated and silky. It's very shiny, even for day two. As I've mentioned before, as the wash days go on, my hair gets less and less shiny and more and more elongated. For my hair to feel this shiny and hydrated and nourished on day two is a very, very good thing. Verb Curl Shampoo. Verb Hydrating Mask. Verb Curl Foaming Gel. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty wash day. This is what my hair is looking like right after I fluff it out and scrunch it. <laughs> I gave you a good long look at that one. My hair feels super nice right now. My hair feels very, very soft and very lightweight for a product that has absolutely no grit. Like my hair just feels slippery and amazingly soft and wonderful. I don't know how they got this product to have anywhere near medium to hold rather than just like purely light hold. It cleared up. It didn't stay as muggy as it was when I first styled my hair. And check out this volume and definition I still have. This is great. This is lived in hair, but maybe not as abused as some of the other wash days. Let me turn around and show you the back. My hair still has that really good, elegant, high-end salon quality product smell. Like, I can still smell the Verb products in my hair. It makes me really happy. There is one tiny little thing about this shampoo that I don't love love, and that is, is that I'm a tiny, not much, but a tiny bit more greasy than I normally am on day two, but my hair feels incredibly soft. I still have beautiful, lovely definition. Like, I don't feel any need to refresh my hair. That shampoo is really, really, really nice, but I think it may work slightly better for people who are just a tad bit less oily greasy. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one brand wash day. I'm so glad you're here. Feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell if you'd like to hang out for some more one brand wash days. And as always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.